At the top, Brandon Portillo remains in the Noises County Jail tonight. He's been there since January, accused of driving drunk and causing an accident that killed a Corpus Christi police officer and injured two others. He was in court today trying to get his bond reduced. Our Seth Kovar has more on that hearing. The wreck that happened on that overpass back on January 31st took the life of Officer Alan McCollum and injured two other officers. Those surviving officers spoke today at a pretrial hearing for the man accused of causing the wreck. I'm honestly scared if, if it does happen. Honestly, I don't think it would be safe at all because of, because of his history. A criminal history that includes multiple DWI charges is a big reason officers Mike Love and Kiyomi Muniz urged Judge Bobby Galvan not to lower Brandon Portillo's bond at a virtual hearing today. The officers were badly hurt in the same crash that killed Officer Alan McCollum, a crash Portillo is accused of causing while driving drunk. It affected me both mentally and physically. I spent three and a half months in a wheelchair. I had to learn, relearn how to walk. Portillo didn't specifically testify about the wreck that hurt the officers, but he says when it comes to drinking and driving in general, he'll stop doing it if he can get a reduced bond and get out of jail. I do not wish to do anything in that manner anymore. Officers Love and Muniz don't buy it. They testified that Portillo remaining in jail might prevent someone else from having to go through what they did. That had to have been the worst thing that I've had to uh, deal with my whole entire life. I don't want to relive that for as long as I don't have to. Portillo's lawyer argued that he's running out of money while sitting in jail unable to work. And Portillo himself argued that he and his family and friends cannot come up with the money to cover a one and a half million dollar bond. But in the end, the judge denied the request to reduce the bond. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.